Tibet. Before the Chinese invasion in 1950 and into 1959 was an independent nation with its own government. Tibet had an ancient culture, language and religion that was unique. This map from the 1920s shows Tibet completely independent with its own borders located between the countries of India, East Turkestan, and China. Here's an example of Tibetan money from about 1938, which bears witness that Tibet was absolutely independent, had its own currency and its own economy. This independence and freedom was shattered by the invasion of the Chinese communists. These rare photos here were snuck out of Tibet at great risk. They show that freedom of religion, freedom of thought and speech are things of the past under the Chinese communist control. For the Chinese regime, it's not enough for Tibetans to just simply obey. They must give up everything. They must lose their identity. This rare photo here, which was snuck out of Tibet, shows nuns being quote unquote re-educated to think according to communist party lines and leave their Buddhist ideals and religion behind. In this photo, the atheist communist authorities in Tibet desecrate a Tibetan temple by forcing it to have propaganda in both Chinese and Tibetan, praising the goodness and virtues of the Chinese Communist Party. Despite everything the brutal Chinese dictatorship has thrown at the Tibetan people, their faith in His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the Dharma, and their rightful freedom has remained completely unbroken. In this interview, we have a rare opportunity to speak with Nawang Songjula, who is a world-famous human rights and freedom activist. Her bravery and determination in the face of unspeakable cruelty and oppression by the Chinese state authorities in occupied Tibet represents the very best of what human beings can be capable of when confronted by hate and violence. Rather than break, she remained unbroken. Rather than meet her oppressors with revenge and anger, she chose compassion and total nonviolence. Nawangla was born in Lhasa, Tibet. Born into a deeply devout family, at an early age she chose to become a nun. Her goal was to deepen her intellectual understanding, practice her faith in peace, and be of best benefit to all that lives everywhere. In just about anywhere else in the world, this pursuit would be welcomed and seen as a positive. In Chinese communist-controlled Tibet, however, it can get you in prison. It can get you beaten, tortured, and even killed. Fortunately for Nawang, she was one of the lucky ones. After being held and tortured by the Chinese since the age of 13, for 11 long years, she was finally released due to successful pressure on Beijing by the United States government and many human rights activists around the world. This story is proof that humanity shall endure and that evil can be overcome if individuals, organizations, and governments truly take a stand. Thank you so much, Nalanga, for uh, meeting with uh, me today and doing this interview, agreeing to do this. This means a lot to uh, me personally. Mm -hmm. I know it'll mean a lot to a lot of people who see this video. So thank you so much for taking your time and being here and agreeing to do this. Thank you. You always support for Tibet. Thank you very much. Okay. My pleasure. So first question is, if you could, in as much detail as you like, tell us about your life before you were arrested by the Chinese. Mm -hmm. uh, 群聚我们就觉得拉布拉钦，嗯，但群聚我们就觉得拉布拉钦，哎，那拉帕莫尼多有的，但我的这是挺多的，对对对，是不是群聚吧？对。Okay, thank you. And if you could tell us about um the nunnery, what was life like? I'm 
sure it would be really interesting to know about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Okay. And why did you choose to become a nun back then? What was your thinking? Re Gupchila Balamla Good Mongbatswachi, Put 
Did you ever think that arrest or prison would ever happen to you when you were a nun? Um Thank you. And how long were you in prison? Okay. And while you were in prison, what kind of labor did they have you do? Like what was your experience like? What did they have you do? <laughs> And I understand you were in solitary confinement during your term. Mm -hmm. If you could go into, you know, why you were put into solitary confinement and how long or whatever details you think you can share? Um, Okay. Well, with that, I think I've asked all the questions, mm -hmm. and thank you so much for uh, your time again, thank you. and um, really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much.